One second, guys. So here we are guys, now I know I tried doing Deathmark before, but for some reason it looks like my uh, game was, um, well, deleted. So we're going to start from the beginning. Um, and uh, we are going to go and have some fun with this. Yeah, it is coming through. Right, share Facebook. There we go. Share that. There we go. Okay, so, as you guys may know, this is a graphic novel of sorts, so uh, I'll be doing the best I can with this. <coughs> hey, want to hit up the karaoke place? The new play, uh, new, the new love and hero song is out. Hmm, I'm not feeling up to it today. This story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear of it? Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yama... Oh, God, this right. This has that weird one. Yamaguchi. She wears the big glasses? I heard she's gone missing. What? No one has... <laughs> no one knows where she is. Nope, she just disappeared. Just up and pooped in the library. One of, the, one of the student librarians said she was researching something there, but then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she just up and leave like that. So he checked out on her, but when he did... The only thing left was her arm. It had a really weird scar on it. It was definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. For real? There was a scar like that on Miki's leg, too. Huh? Miki? Wait, that's. The girl who went missing, yeah. That's crazy. Maybe the rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. Cut it out, you're scaring me. I hear sn snitches. Snatches? Of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but. Uh, they're, speak they're speaking seriously, but it's obviously they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are just the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later and I plan than I planned. I shouldn't be stuck around here listening to this story. I better hurry. Dot, dot, dot. The thunder rumbles in the distance. Oh, my, my uh, noodles are cooking. Hold on. 
Mix you guys up a little bit. Yeah, you like it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Slap it and noodles! Slap it and noodles! <laughs> And this is why I'm not allowed to have nice things. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Oh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I found was a business card. An elegant printed letter in the name... Soya Kujo Spirit Hunter. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess it must be Kujo Mansion. Kujo Mansion. Soya Kujo. Those names sound familiar somehow. On my way to find out, thinking, uh, taking a deep breath, I reach out to take a knock. I stop, then I something, I see something on my wrist. It's a strange scar. There's some other things in the background. When did that... I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. My first pound of the door with no reply. A light appears on the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for they didn't hear me knocking. I cross the doorknob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in and apologize to the owner later. Inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the consistent ticking of clocks around uh, on the second floor. I must be in the entrance hall. The uh, atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? Okay, hold on a sec, guys. I'm going to do my noodles quick. Hold on. Stop trying to trip me, cat. There's a. Want to have hot boiling water then? Gotta love my life when you don't have money. Shall we get back to the game at hand? My cat doesn't trip me and kill me first. There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they're uh, sound. Maybe they soundproof this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to go upstairs then. A staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk towards it, cutting across the hall. My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. Someone's there, enveloped in the dark. I think they're staring at me. Approach them. Gulping, I hastily make my way over. Uh, trim, tree, trep, trepidation. Slowly in my steps, trembling in my steps very much. 
It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. This doesn't look like she's even breathing. A corpse? Great. I creep myself out and start to sweat. So what should I do? Touch her. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. It's not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. I press down on her arm that makes a strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what made the noise. What a relief, if disappointing. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing on the escape, some sound bell, a <laughs> sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Ignore it. I reach the second floor, ignoring the clock, and head toward the room with the light. I'm in front of the door, I knock. But again, there is no reply. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push to the door. It's dark inside. Strange, I definitely saw lights in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. It, It's surgery like a ripe fruit. The whole room is uh, pre-meated with it. Some kind of autotherapy maybe? Or aromatherapy maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell though. The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels off. It's wet. Draws me in and it draws dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent, the metallic tang. Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. The starly grotesque object stretches across out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. Ugh. Blooming flowers are everywhere. Or er, blooming flowers are everywhere. They're brushing out of the woman's stuff or bursting out of the woman's stomach. Ugh. Her uh, blood sucked body overwhelmed with them. I watch my gaze away horrified, but the hellish image is burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rise. I'm going to throw up. And the next instant the lights are on. <clears throat> Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. This doesn't make any sense. It's a bad dream, at least. I'd really much prefer if it was. But the faint smell that remains in the bloodstain crush any hope I had of that. I I beat a I beat a retreat from the room in effort to escape the whole bizarre situation. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are in, are on as well here. The clock has stopped chiming too. I decide to have a much have another look around. All the furnishings here are old enough to be antiques. They m match this old-fashioned mansion. God, you're so creepy. A large doll sits on the couch. This must be the uh, 
the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake it for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. So what do I do now? Uh, contact the police. Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would believe that. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. The doll moved and moved. It spoke a different kind of shudder runs through me than the one when I found the corpse. Up until this point, it was nothing more than an obs <laughs> was much more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now a doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me not to behave, or to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. She slowly folds her hands together so she can move, too. I am sorry for the intro I'm sorry for not introducing myself. I'm called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see my master Soya Kunjo was unable to escape the mark then. Soya Kunjo, does she mean the corpse? But wait, what's about the mark? Lady Soya was ser was searching for a way to escape the mark when you not were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? must be talking about this weird scar. Did Soya Kunjo invite me here to this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. <clears throat> I have something to tell you in, tell you in place of my, la of my late master, but I would like to ask you something first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I was expecting. It's... I break into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find the I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it's as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier. I have a name in which to call you. It is also likely you'll find it hard to remain calm if you're nameless. She's probably right. Better to have some police holder name than continue life as a hollow nameless being. There we go. I C H I my butt. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Please, itchy my butt, okay? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm please eat you my butt. <laughs> Understood, Lord Ichi my butt. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to explain to you about the mark. This is the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. You don't believe me. Hearing this sounds absurd to one of one who has led an unfulfilling life. However, my master's death proves it is if you're refutably the corpse's sweet the corpse's sweet stump stench comes back to me. Okay. Now that didn't seem like the woman of wounded humans. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until one day they die. They face death, all the while suffering from a terror of loss, losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. There mean that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord, eat you my butt. You... <laughs> will die. This very dawn. My memories skip forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss, or attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. That's thing I know. I'm lying in the guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that. I feel a lot better. I'll die by dawn, huh? I'll try saying it out loud. It's definitely sh shocking, but I can't s say what I really feel. It doesn't make sense. Why <laughs> Why out of the blue? But if it's true, it's waiting for me. Ultimately, death is the only thing I can do. Might be a good idea to ask Mary once Mary more about it. I find my I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a doll gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning, Lord Ichi, my butt. Are you feeling better now? Sort of. Wonderful. Since it appears that you have climbed, calmed down, I would like to ask you a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark a few days prior to her death. She found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So, she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a some chance salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would you, would would that would that you would grab a hold of it and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up to a dawn. If I don't, if I don't wait to die, then there's 
No other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really all right with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn in a blind eye to it? This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. Live or die. Uh, deadly choices. You will be forced with choices that can result in death. There is a limited time a new soul power will, can, will continue to drain. Time, time's up or wrong answers result in game over. So be quick, but also careful in finding the right answer. Uh, restoring soul power. Completing, uh, completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing the L1 button, but certain dialogue cannot be sped up. The option button will display the previous dialogue. Auto mode. The R1 will activate auto mode. Okay. Hidden, hiding the dialogue window. You can hide the dialogue window by pressing triangle. Then I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Wait or struggle. Safe. I'm trying to eat while I'm doing it. I decided to trust you. As you say, Lord my Ichi, my butt, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish for me. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about supernatural and losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. A knock comes from the front door. Who'd come here this late at night? Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that the other mark bearers have arrived. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she's some kind of mysterious power being talked to and all and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Richmond, but do you pol I do apologize, but could you go greet the guests in my stead? They may experience a shock of a doll such as myself. Welcome to them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I'm able and I am unable to walk. I moved to the front door to greet the guests. People faded to die like me. I wonder what they're like. Who I find at the door are not who I'd expect to see, but out this late at night. A high schooler and a small boy. These kids had the mark. No way. Um, we came to see Professor Cujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I'm here in this mansion. I'm, uh,. Her relative. Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes too look kind of similar. She seems to know Sayakujo. Now I think about it, it that business card did say spirit healer. Going off the girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. Make it weird. Hi, <laughs> hi, I, 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 Rosie Rose. <laughs> I'm mo I'm I'm mo what? I'm mo wata <laughs> I am mo watanabi. I don't know what am I with you? 
<laughs> I'm here to talk to her about this article I wrote on the Op Arts Monthly. She pulls the occult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is... A soul inhabiting disease that erases memories inqu inquire at Cujo's... Or Cu <sighs> Cujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? Mo Lisser... Oh, hello there. <laughs> Mo Lisser skirt. <laughs> I'm about to show her leg. Right there on her right thigh is the mark. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. No, I think it's just because I think that's just you. And I'm even blink, uh, blanking on my friend's names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar is doing it? Oh, yeah. The article is obviously bogus. Young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts of curse these days. And the high schooler fell for it. He must feel embarrassed about that. But two. Oh god, these names are gonna kill me. Tau to suit. To, oh my god, fucking Christ. I can't even fucking pronounce this. Okay, we're just gonna take the T out. So, that doesn't even help! Tsuskuska! <laughs> Weren't you hanging around out in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Casa, we're just gonna call him, we're gonna call him boy or whatever. Oh, like, Tosca seems to have no no <laughs> retort to that. He slightly shrugs, looks like a bullseye. It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Mo shrinks excited when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah. I've never seen one this big before. The grandma shit is detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when... Welcome to Kunjio Mansion! What? It spoke! With that, the two new visitors join our number. Their entire... Their enter the mysterious <laughs> world. That hovers on the oh God, these big ass words. Precipe of death. Precept of death whatever. Mary tells Mo and, and Casa about the mark once they re <laughs> regain more composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you can specifically, if you're, if you can specifically hear because your beloved lady Soya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Mo admitted as much earlier, but I can see Casa's face uh, darken. So it must be happening to him too. Hey, Mo, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia, amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so they might not remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might have be a curse from Han Hannah Hiko. Hannah Hiko. The name is familiar to me. He is the go. He is the ghost that. The ghost. He is the ghost. The resident. The ghost, the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? Okay, whatever. My master was interested in him. So Soya Kujo was curious too. Could it be connected to the mark somehow? I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Ichimabat.
This is the first we ever got, so after this, I have no idea what the hell is gonna go on. Oh, did you hear? About the ghost boy? All the schools in H City are talking about. Okay. Sounds like Hannah Hiko is back. I heard that he can appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine. But if you say yes, give me that red scarf, red stuff then. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know. I heard that if the person he acts is an adult, you'll die. If not, and not just drop dead, their blood is drained from them. And next to the corpse is a single rose. A rose dripping with blood. Rose can be easily misinterpreted. Passing from one person to another, as, as, assumptions and errors mix in, but they also had a hint of truth. Miss Miss Mo, did you know anything else? I think I'd probably got the mark when I was investigating Hannah Hiko at the H Elementary School. This has to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Where were you? And huh. My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in the magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place, the place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school, since it's been closed down. I should ask and ask, was Hanahiko there? I don't think so. I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What's your ass neck? We need to know some mark. I had no I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that I had to be what Professor Kojo wrote about. I think I have to handle hand, I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Then maybe... Casa glances down at his left hand. Mine might be from Hanihiko too. I noticed that after I got home from T Elementary. The ghost was seen a lot of... The ghost was seen at a lot of schools in H City, right? Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions, too. I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top-ranked elementary H school in H City. Maybe around sunset, it was. I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. No, and I don't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed the mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Their, their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. It can't just be a coincidence. You must investigate this place where Hanahiko appeared, for their sake as well as yours. Ah, there. that's all well and good, but uh, what exactly am I investigating? death and life coexisting. If the mark or originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That's the only way to escape. And all of a sudden a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate?
H Elementary, I think, would be the better one. Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you tried to sneak into a regular school. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address a job title. I'd have no excuses if I got caught. Want to get going then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. Is she really... Is she really strong, or is this blind optimism? I'm going to. Hey, not you too. Seriously? My life is on the line here. I don't want to reason to die to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. <laughs> going. Good thing you're cute. But to bring kids along with me is... I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate stealing lives from children or adults. If you if they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we anything goes to stride. Please take only me, only one mark bearer with you. However, our large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you not waste time dwelling on with dwelling with others on the way. It is, po it is possible unnecessary content may hasten the efforts of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Uh, selecting a partner, huh? First, select the mark bearer. Do this in the partner menu. Yeah, hey mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Your memory's getting worse all the time. You don't want to forget anything. Don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I write down the information I get and keep it on file. Something in it might save our lives at some point. Information was added to the spirit file. Rumor of he uh, Hanahi go another. Spirit file. More info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it when you need help. Saving and loading. Save at the mansion for hundreds of returns to the title screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Just save. Oh, cool. Power, intelligence, spirit power is at 9, dexterity is at 11. complete okay all right so we saved we saved all right Probably the more reasonable one. Go ahead, never mind. Exit. First, we have to go, we have to get to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use the car in the garage. The garage is detached from the mansion. Uh, the vintage model van and bicycles only accent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car keys were left on the table. Time to go. 
Uh, hey. According to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks at me suspiciously. Don't worry, I'll be fine, I think. <coughs> I'll come back when I take the wheel. Part of that was to convince myself. Oh, great. <laughs> but aren't you missing your license? If the cop finds us, we'll have more to worry about than Hanahiko. She's right about that. But our lives are on the line, so we don't have much of a choice. Once Mark's gone, I'll remember. Then I'll have to, then I'll just have them reissue it. Assuming I ever get one. Uh, no, uh, I'm even more worried. Just drive safe, okay? Fuck off. H Elementary. Oh no, it's snowing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't, sh oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than I expected, and now it's easy to guide this monster down their own. But now, thoughts of what I can no longer do start to, start to uh, filter into my head. Hey, mister. Mo. Uh, pips up hastily. I probably let the silence go on too long. She doesn't seem as careful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to lose your memories? That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once or a few pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but I have no idea if it gets worse or better. I don't know what I was, what it was like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare to. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing, it's like everything's been painted white. That's what it feels like. Oh, you sure you're, you sure are mature, Mister. You take everything so calmly. Right. The, com the conversation dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires on the road. Then, thoughts start pouring into my head again, one after another. I know we have to check out that mirror, but what else should we investigate? What do you think? Mo glances over at me. No idea. I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know where I'm doing? Ah, uh, please, I'm really counting on you. Think whatever you want. I'm taking a child. I'm talking to a child. I need to show restraint and be a good example. But that's definitely how I really feel. I straight down at the steering wheel. The doll in the mansion, Mark Bearers. The Mark Spirits. <clears throat> and the mysterious deaths. I think I'm going to be. I think I'm going to be buried under all the crashing thoughts that keep pouring into my head. Wait, what a what awaits down the dark road? I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to warn me. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can sense it. The death is closing in. If that's hap if that's happening isn't a problem anymore. It's how long do I have left? How much longer is it? I almost yell, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. I think we're almost there. Really? It's closer than I thought. Yeah. Get the fuck away. That's exactly right. At any time it could. That's a lot closer than you think.
the hell is that? Looming ominously in the moonlight, the school definitely looks abandoned. For uh, quite a number of years, in fact, the walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A thick chain in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Hey, you there! Now another step! Oh boy. The enthusiastic voice comes from a man in a guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. This probably this property belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside. Don't you know? Or are you up to something? A bunch of people have been coming here on dares since it's haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? Uh, no, we're not. I glance over at Mo and they <laughs> at Mo and they take the hint. Nope, we're not like those people. We're just passing by. Looks like the guard is buying it. Of course, sorry to bother you. Anyway, the school lim the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here. Please leave. Okay? Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. As we watch him leave, Mo leans over and whispers, Damn, there wasn't a guard when I, when I snuck in here before. We better not get caught. Moving around a haunt. Use the directional buttons to move. The map shows which ways you're facing and where you can go. Oh, this actually does have... Okay, that's cool. Heading to the entrance. Pushing open the doors, I head inside. Whoa, it's dark. We can't see anything like this. The moonlight doesn't reach inside well. Just have to use the flashlight. But if we use the flashlight, that guard will find us. Can we do anything about it? I guess? Anyway. That mirror is, hmm, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, to the right of the staircase. Investigating a hunt. Use the left stick to search current area. Uh, shine the flashlight on an area, to, area and press X and turn. Press circle to end the search. Use the directional buttons to end the search when you move. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Huh? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flints on the feet. I turn the flashlight uh, to find... Aww, a bunny. It's so cute with red eyes and blackness. Yep. Was it the school's pet? Black rabbit squeaks and dashes between our feet towards the eastern end of the school. Aww, it ran away. Away. Is it telling us to follow? <laughs> yeah, right. New information has been added to the spirit of Black Rabbit. Uh. Look. The light is on. A light on the alarm is very faint. Something might be wrong with it. Warnings and contacts. A flyer containing warnings, a list of contacts. Do not leave handprints on the mirror on the eastern staircase. Thank you. Uh, independent research uh, presentation. First floor, multiple purpose classroom. Come check it out. Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror in the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Yes, yeah, so we go there first. Yeah, it's straight ahead from here. The ceiling is faintly and the fluorescent lights are broken. Okay, so... 
So the eastern staircase moving forward. Rogue is letting in a piercing cold wind. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha uh, Climbed the stairs. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, all right. This is it. It's a mirror I saw the last time I'm sure of it. Huh? It's then a dull pain runs through my wrist, like something's biting into my skin. To distract myself from the pain, I keep talking to Mo. It certainly looks normal. Yeah, what should we do? There is stands that make it hard to see the reflection. I suddenly face the mirror, bringing my face up to it to peer inside the place of as I expected. I can't make anything out. All I see is my own shadow reflecting onto the thick shelly bump. My shadow sways in the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. I figured the shadow moved because I had, but the next time the shadow moves, a cold shiver runs down my spine. That's not my shadow. Something is in the mirror. Mo yelps and steps back. Well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There really is something there. Every muscle in my body locks. I try to look away, but I can't even close my eyes. The figure moves its mouth. I don't want to look, but I can't close my eyes. It opens its mouth. An odd voice peers in my ears. Never die. Hey, am I pretty? I have to say no. If I only had the red stuff. I can't see well. Are you a grown up? No. I'm the tallest in my class. Faith people aren't allowed in school. Then the mirror cracks. It cracked. Now I can't see. No more big people here. The figure disappeared. Okay, well that actually... A screen comes from the other side of the school. Mo s sinks to the floor. They gasp... They gasp... And panic... Uh, disbelief... Oh. Oh, for a while to feel much the same. But what was that? That was probably Hanahiko. I couldn't. I couldn't say it, say it. The word sticks to my throat. My mouth is completely dry. I can't believe this. I thought I wanted to see a ghost, but to see one that clearly, Mo seems to seems to shake the encounter off and remain normal. Hanahiko's world swirl, ar swirl around in my head. Our situation has done a complete reverse from where we were months ago. I can't believe I, I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Uh, anyway. That scream, what was that? The guard we, mu we met outside. I doubt there's anyone else here. He must have seen something wherever he is too. 
It sounded like it came from far away. A ways down the hallway. That would be the other side of the school. Yeah, let's go look for him. But if, if he screamed like that, something must have happened to him. Right as I respond, I hear something whisper in my ear. Purify with red. I look at the direction of the voice, but all I see is darkness. Mister? No, it's nothing. Let's go. New has been added to the Spifa, the boy in the mirror. Ah, uh, big. Uh, that, and Hiko. And the body is I you know. And Hiko, the boy in the mirror. Some of the, uh, like rumors of the ghostly appeared, we answered some of the questions. The mirror broke and he vanished. No more big people here. Uh, he said like he was chasing something, something, and then he heard a, her and then we heard a horrible scream. It came from the opposite side of the school. It sounded familiar. Mysteri the mysterious, mysterious didn't end there. I heard a whisper in ear that said, purify with red. With what was the eerie voice? Maybe everything has that's going on and it's making me go crazy regardless first we need to find the cause of that scream all right the cracked mirror it's hard to see the reflection the cracked in the mirror there's nothing else particularly odd about it okay climb the stairs I'm going to search the second floor. Huh? I feel something squishy beneath my heel. Oh god. Pick, pick up my foot and shine the light down. Oh! The hallway is covered with poisonous snakes. Mo lets out some. Mo lets out something close to her shriek upon seeing them. Snakes? We said go back down to Lenny. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know why there's a whole bunch of fucking snakes there, but okay. Went down the stairs. Huh? The rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and damp. A bird, a bird cry. Breaks the sense I get that's clear there's something outside. Okay, this is a lot more creepy than I thought it would be. I hear a noise, something slamming against the door. <laughs> Someone inside? I shine a flashlight at the door. Oh, Jesus. I would know where the door bursts open and something comes flying out. Eek! Most shrieks and falls down. I recognize those clothes, the same. Oh, those clothes, some kind of plank covers half of his face. Uh, oh, oh, oh. A part of his face, we can see it's twisted in anguish as he screams. Oh, Jesus Christ. No doubt about it, it's the guard. What the hell happened? Thorns are eating my face. It hurts. What's, what's going on? Mo sits on the floor, stunned into a, sh a shambles. Oh, Jesus Christ. The guard suddenly rushes towards the entrance. And then silence falls once more. Pant and pant. The only the only sound left is that of shaky breathing. Once we catch our breath, I take Mo's hand and help them and help them up. 
our nerves have come have calmed some, but the definitely left an unsettling impression. Something terrible lurks here. We can't just sit around. I felt like I was paralyzed. I'm okay now. The mister, that guy. Mo stares at the door. I wonder if Hanahiko did that. And I don't know if you noticed, but I got the feeling someone has was standing behind him. There's really no no good way to respond to that. I let silence serve the, to ask my answer. What else could I do? No point in, in coming here for just going to stand here shaking. If we don't uncover the secret before it comes for us, why don't we check out the staff room? I tactfully avoid answering most questions. The guard had run out of there. Something might be inside. Some secret about Hanahiko. Yeah, you're right. Let's just be careful, okay? I cover my wrists with my paint, with my palm, making sure Mo doesn't notice. The moment I put my hand on the doorknob, the mark burned my skin, pulsing along with my breathing heart. New info has been added about the spirit. Plant filled guard. Okay, I guess he's just not here. Okay, whatever. Room A. Here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Staff room is in chaos. The the furniture is upended, and the walls are well, the walls are was there a fire or something? There's black scorch marks everywhere. Phew. Mo looks relieved as they come out from behind me. Whoa, it's totally empty. Uh, anyway, let's look around. Huh, there's a door over here too. Looks like it goes to another room. The wall near the window is burnt. There must have been a fight here a long time ago. Alright. Open the door to and left the staff room. It's kind of cramped in here, isn't it? Is this a storage room? Seems to be. Hopefully there's something useful in here. It's a massive wooden cabinet. It looks very really old and, can, and corners of oh, and the corners of the doors are rounded off. Okay. I pulled the door, but it when it rattles in place, looks like it won't open. Something's stopping it. I think it's a school journal. Uh, the papers, de <sighs> detroited from the age and bus, so I can't read it. There's a cardboard box on top of the cabinet. I think I can reach it. Reaching up, I grab the box and look inside. Got lipstick, red pen, and girls' slippers. Okay. Good job, mister. I knew there was a reason you were tall. Fuck off. I open the glass doors and check it out, but there isn't anything that catches my eye. The door cut into the floor. Is this some kind of storage area? The metal handle is retracted into the door. I tried to get a grasp on it and pull it out, but unaccessible.
Okay, well. Let's get out of the storage room. Get out of the staff room. Let's go to the other mirror and put the red lipstick on it. God, that's creepy as all hell. Climb the stairs. There is no... Here, what is that? Pieces of concrete litter on the floor. I think they came from the wall. Okay, we can't go up. Can we? Climb the stairs, okay. Poison snakes cover the hallway. I'd be a fool to try to keep going. Let's go back down the landing. And down the stairs. Okay, let's try the first question then, I guess. The room on the right. Jesus. There's a thing up there. The dust is so thick, the ceiling that just walk you around causes showers of particles. Those are, are uh, nonsensical scribbles on the chalkboard. It's an abandoned desk. The desk, like you'd find in any school, what's, surpri what's surprising is it doesn't look very withered. Guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. I see my hand inside and feel around. A plastic bottle. There's nothing in the bottle. Oh, it might come in handy. Huh? There's a hole in the wall. I can see something stuck deep inside. Stick my arm in, but the hole gets narrower, and the further I go in anymore, I can't reach anymore. Uh, I think let her open a hole and scrape out the item that was stuck inside. Ha <laughs> ha! I found a worn out talisman. When I pick up my talisman, I feel worn flow through me. Cool. I got some soul power. The worn out talisman crumbles saintly in my hand. Found a worn out talisman or stores the soul power. The uh, more soul power you have, the easier it will be to survive a deadly choice. Oh, cool. Alright, then. Let's go and check out this one. Seems to be locked. I don't think I have anything in here. Let's check the other side of the school. So thick, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an abandoned desk. The fallen desk is you rusted. Turn the desk around, take my hand inside. Hol holy hard hat. I thought that's very useful. A yellow hard hat for a child. It's not. It's got holes and it's missing the its padding, so it's likely not very effective. It can be forced on an adult head with effort. Okay, I know. Is there anything else in here? Seems to be locked. Okay. Oh, he already went up 
there. Fire door is rushing shut and won't move. I guess let's try the mirror again, I guess. It's a cracked mirror, hard to see reflection. The cracked mirror, there's nothing else particularly odd about it. I mentioned red stuff. An idea hits me and I try holding lipstick up to the mirror. But nothing happens. Red pen. I mentioned red stuff. It depends on her. But nothing happens. Girl slippers? I think I mentioned red stuff. But nothing happens. Huh. I figured down the cracks. My watch is me. Wondering, but nothing happens. Okay, we got some red stuff, but nothing worthwhile. There's snakes on the second floor. Gate was one who screamed and burst out of the staff uh, guarding plants on things driving him mad did a sprint to did a sprint to this it must have been Hanahika which means that inside the staff room it is but we can but we have to keep going okay So what else are we supposed to do here? Something I'm missing in here. Let's see here. There's a platform that's broken wooden sled in front of the shoe stack to creak when I step on them. Uh, the battered, the battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. We well, have a shoe, right? A fire containing warnings and a list of contacts. Not much else we can do there. I don't know what it wants me to do here. That's a fire door. The paint is peeling from the fire door, revealing rust underneath. When I open the side door, all I find is a wall. I'm about to give up and close the door when I notice something stuck stuck on the back of it. Worn out towels. <laughs> when I picked up the worn out towels, I feel warmth running through me. Sweet. Worn out towels, then chrome slightly in my hand. Okay, so we... Know that there's nothing else on the second floor. I think we'll have to be to try and, I guess, go to the one place again and then the door but it just rattles in place it looks like it won't open something is stopping it oh my gosh, so we can get this out it's not some kind of storage area tool letter opener letter opener but with what should I do with it I can't think of anything to do with it okay feel 
The metal handle is <coughs> retracted into the door. I tried to get a grass on it and pull it out, but I am unsuccessful. Okay. Some liquid. Uh, maybe the hard hat. Is there anything like water? Anything at all? So I get down the storage. We need to find something. Ah, right, this. Emergency alarm. My alarm is very faint. Something might be wrong with it. I open it up and shine the flashlight to see if there's anything inside. Found a worn out talisman. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking the worn-out talismans. But, um... It... You know, it might be, uh... <sighs> I'm confused on what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Just can't go upstairs because of the fucking snakes. You can't put anything to the... Anything to this. There's nothing else. Going on. No. Um. I don't know what else to do. Moved outside. Yes. Save. But he appeared in the mirror. He may possibly be Hanahiko. Maybe other traits of Hanahiko in the school. Please continue your investigation. Alright guys, well, that's it for me today. Uh, with this one, I might do it a little bit before I go to work here too, because I'm actually starting to get into this. <clears throat> if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to keep playing it for you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>